Grant Flanders with the case down the line here with Nigel Shad, the big man for the Wildcats. How exciting is this season, upcoming season, and what do you expect to see out of these this group? This team should be pretty well. I feel like we have all the pieces that, even though we lost our three main guys last year, I feel like we're rebuilding something even that fits us, and that's something that will be a threat going to the Big 12. What is uh, what has Mac shown you from from last year to this year? I know people have talked about how he's going to become more of a jump shooter, possibly, but also still have the ability to work down low. What have you seen from Mac from last year this year? From last year this year, I've seen him become more versatile, becoming more of a threat, uh, more around the perimeter, and even on the three. It's it's kind of it's honestly pretty impressive to see how much he's improved since then. Uh, I actually can't wait to see what he'll do even this year now. So he he definitely can do a lot in the paint, but in the three, I feel like he's going to shock a lot of people. How has your game uh, progressed over the off season since people have seen you last? It's I'm getting more comfortable with the game, especially uh, with Big 12, how aggressive it is. I'm trying to get whatever on the court, do everything I can, and just try and be more, uh, trying to be... I want to say more of a uh, trying to get as much as I can, pretty much. Yeah. I mean, I do want to talk about the new guys that are down low, Antonio and Montavious. First, talk about what Montavious has shown you in practice and such. Montavious, for him, he's just showing that toughness that that we all look for, especially if we have a competition drill. He's that one guy who we all know he's not going to give up to so do everything he can and his ability to do to contribute to whoever team he's on. And I think that's something that he's definitely going to bring. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and then Antonio, talk about what he's shown. Antonio, he shows that versatility and that tough grit that uh, we all look for. Yeah. It's, it's just he's going to dive on the floor for every loose mm -hmm. ball. Whenever he's on the help side, he's confident shooting that three. If, even if the guy's in his face, like a Coach Webb even like, gets on him about it. But he still shows that he's confident, shows that he's going to bring it every single day. And then we can talk about the other two new guys, David Sloan and Dejuan. Uh, start with Dejuan. Obviously, a lot of hype around him going into this season. Um, what have you seen from him in practice? Dejuan, a very impressive player, really consistent shooter even throughout the days. He's a, we're just he. Each day he impresses us. He shows us something that he he proves that he can be on the court. And that's something that we all look for. And I think he's trying to grow into being that that kind of like that young leader that. Yeah. It's going to help not only the freshmen out here, but also try and bring out the older guys and also learn from them. And then David, you know, he's he's coming in as a as a JUCO player, right. but obviously has the skill to, to be a, a a pure point guard. What what has he shown you? Shown from him, he's just shown his, he's shown his impressive um, passing ability. That's something that each day we all are just like mesmerized by because mm -hmm. he can he has great court vision. He look he knows when the pass, when the right pass is, yeah. and it's just something that he knows when the attack is just, it's all around game. It's something that we all like are really impressed about. We really can't wait to see. All right, cool. Thank you, Nigel. Uh, this was uh, Nigel Shad for K-State Online.